the madhouse. All right, so this episode you are about to listen to a little bit different. We're trying something new here. A snake draft is what you could call it. And before we get into the details of the snake draft, we have to introduce our first, third overall guest, first friend guest who has been mentioned on this show before in story time, the one and only Cody Wilkins. You know, Welcome to I'm the gonna show. be honest, guys. It it hurts that I wasn't the first guest, but to be the first friend guest feels pretty good. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, I haven't listened to a single podcast episode. Yeah, put that on me, and I respect the honesty. However, I think I'm now an AWL. Those who know know, and uh, let's get it, dude. I'm a podcaster now. Let's run this. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I love that. Great so, energy. What we have Cody on for. Now, Cody is a Michigan State alum, Michigan State Savant fan. And I would say, though, most likely of the three of the Michigan State people on this show to potentially see the other side of Michigan. You know, sometimes people say Wolverine Wilkins is out in force. <laughs> so. I have, I have been known to be referred to as Wolverine Wilkins in the streets. <laughs> uh, I will not agree or deny with that nickname. <laughs> So what we are going to do here tonight is we are going to draft a starting five basketball lineup, your standard starting five. The pool of players we are allowed to pick from is from 2010, the 2010-2011 season to present day, minus any incoming recruits. So any incoming recruits cannot be drafted. Other rules for people listening and you can keep track at home if we mess this up and let us know, we are not supposed to spoil any potential picks that could be made later in the draft during the course of the actual draft. You're allowed to roast someone or praise someone for their pick, but you are not supposed to give out a name of someone. Just to confirm, if they were, so let's say a player were to, they were an incoming college player in 08, Yep. But they were on like a 2010, 2011 team, they count, correct? They do count. That's a great point, Wilkins. Okay. An astute observation. As long as they're on the roster, you get their whole college career. And speaking of that, things to keep in mind. Only the player's college career here should matter. It does not matter how good or bad of a pro career they had, although that I'm sure that will influence decisions because naturally, if they're in the league, you're going to think about them as being maybe better or worse than they were in college. Um, you do not have to fill out a traditional point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center, but you should keep in mind that if you draft a team of five guards with small heights, it would be tough to win a basketball game. At the end of the day, we're trying to win March Madness with this lineup, so keep that in mind. Lastly, no, not lastly. Also, you do not have to pick a specific player's best season. You're essentially drafting their whole body of work. Honestly, like you see their best season, that's probably gonna what, what you're going to be referencing when you justify why you pick them. And then it is encouraged, although you don't have to, to mix both Michigan and Michigan State players in this. It's not encouraged. Um, to make the best possible team. So, any other questions about that before we, before we determine the draft order? No, sir. Okay. So it's going to be a snake draft. For those that don't know at home, just basically go like first pick, second pick, third pick, fourth pick, and then that fourth pick gets to go again, and then we go back down the line. So hopefully we don't get lost in that. I have it written down the actual order of all 20 players selected, so we stay on track. And so it's going to make it interesting, I think, the strategy-wise here is we're going to do a random number generator to basically see who you get to choose what draft position you get, which I think will be very important in this draft and all drafts to come. So the way we're going to do it, because... Because the way it sets up for me, it's kind of a circle here. Alex is going to be number one. Evan will be number two. Cody is number three. And I am number four. And I have the random ge- number generator on my phone. If your number comes up, I ask you, where would you like to draft in this draft? So I'm going to hit generate here. I got one. So Alex, you get to choose. Do you want to pick one through four in this draft? I would like to draft second. Alex is taking the second pick in the draft. Interesting. Hmm. All right, generate. Hmm. Three, which is Wilkins. 
Feels great. Give me number one. Why not? Wilkins is taking the first pick in the draft. Let's randomize this. Okay. Oh, Alex already went. Two. Evan, I'll pick third. Evan's third, which makes me... So Cody's first, Alex is second, Evan is third, and I am fourth. This throws a massive wrench in my plans, but I have done enough research that I am ready to rock. I'll let it be known, and I might make a dra uh, trade later in this draft. I would love to be in the top two for this draft without any spoilers, but we'll just keep Question. going. Yeah. Are we allowed to trade players at the end? I would say maybe, I don't know about the end, but I would say mid-game. Anytime. If you're like, hey, like, I really love that pick. Would you be interested in this guy that I picked? I think you should All be right. able to take it. And get behind that. Now, pre-draft trades with picks, I don't know. That's too much. $35 for pick number two on the line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. The guest. None other than the guest himself, Cody Wilkins, gets to take the first pick in our first ever snake draft. So, without further ado... Cody, who is your first pick in the Michigan-Michigan State basketball 2010 to present draft? I will be sticking with my alma mater, the Spartan Dogs, out of East Lansing with the number one overall pick. Could be controversial. There's a lot of Spartan Dogs you can take number one overall. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I will be taking a walking triple-double candidate, Denzel Valentine, number Whoa. one. Whoa! Massive wrench in my plans. <laughs> Wow. I love In 2016. Denzel. I love that pick. Depending on who you ask, he was National Player of the Year. What more than to have a forward that can distribute the ball? His senior year averaged 19 points a game, 7.8 assists, and 7.5 rebounds. Wow. We got snubbed that year, did get a two seed. We will not talk about the tournament. <laughs> but what more can you ask for from the forward spot? He just makes every guy on the court better. Denzel Valentine, number one. That is a phenomenal pick, I would say. And yeah. some losers may call it a reach, but there's no one else in this draft, I think, that has that that lone season. And I was telling Alex, this, I think the reason he may get sometimes slept on is because of that senior tournament. The exit. But he is unbelievable. And I guess we can, we can work on the exact position for him later in the draft, but he's a versatile player. So you can kind of slot him in at potentially three different positions on your team. So it'll be interesting to see what... Cody does from here on out with Denzel as his locked and loaded one. Thank you, uh, Cody, for making my life much more difficult. I was <laughs> going to take him at two, so really? that really – I didn't think he'd go one. So credit to you, I guess, for taking it. I thought someone else would go, which is where we are going next. Pick number two. I will take also from my alma mater because I don't want to go to the other school. Cassius Winston, I will take him as my – First overall pick. Hey, can't complain there, I'd say. I mean, I don't think I need to back it up. He is arguably a top three Michigan State basketball player of all time. He has a final four to back it up. The only reason he didn't win National Player of the Year was because of a guy named Zion. So it happens. He deserved it over him anyways. Another day, another discussion. But I think, you know, you cannot go wrong with Cassius Winston. Build the statue. Build the Cassius statue. Why not? Why not? I love that pick. Thanks, man. Means a lot coming from you. Michigan State savant. <laughs> Evan, with the third pick. Tough. With the third pick. Yes, it is kind of tough. My plants are kind of like thrown into the wrench. I wasn't expecting. Wilkins just <laughs> fat off the jump. That's the Denzel guy. really just <laughs> threw it around. I wanted my guy. I got my guy number one. I love it. <laughs> what can you do? can't complain about it. I will go with another um, player of the year, power forward, Dave Green from Saginaw, Michigan. Everybody knows him. He was a leader when he came in, and he was a leader going out. Um, he did everything. He didn't get the triple doubles, but he would get a rebound for you when you needed it. So I think he's the all-time captain. He was the coach's player of the year, and that just speaks for itself. Guys, I'm going with Draymond Green. Before we go to Grant, his dream scenario just came through in front of his eyes. He got the worst pick fourth, and his number one guy he is going to end up with, and I'll just let him go into it. But, but I crazy should, it fell to that. I'm going to preface this with, like, you can't really knock any of the picks that were made. Like the top the four top players four. are the clear and away best four players. But I, There I, was a little voice in the back of my head that said, Cody, go U of M. Ruin Grant's picks. I thought about it. 
but I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I mean, like, like, yeah, you really can't, you can't hate on any of the picks that that were made in the top three. They're all great players. I guess the reason I hinted that I really wanted the top two, and I'm almost glad I didn't get it now that this player fell. I should have known, being a Michigan State heavy draft, is like this is the only player in this whole draft that unanimously won a National Player of the Year award. There was no, there was no one offs here and there. He swept the whole board. Guards win in March. Clutch shots, he made them. And, I mean, it's Trey Burke as the point guard of my team. And I can sleep great at night knowing that I have Trey Burke leading this team. And a little background, it was if I got in the top two and somehow I didn't get Trey Burke, I probably would have taken Cassius just because I was valuing the point guard in this draft. Um, so, yeah. and I, But then again, I don't blame Cody at all for taking Denzel because Denzel, I think, was probably like the most eye-popping stats in the draft. I'm just glad... Us four collectively picked the best four players off the jump. So credit to us for getting it right in the first round. Because I think that's by far those are the best four players. Now, I'm on the turn here. Pick number five. And I'm kind of nervous. I'm between two guys, which I will not name, obviously, because that's the rules. Uh, I, I'm super nervous. I don't know what to do. Because cause then again, I guess we should say too, we're probably going to, the way we're going to have a winner of the snake draft, quote unquote, because there's different ways to draft. Are you going to draft for your personal self? Do you want to make your best team that you think? Or do you pander a little bit to the social media crowd? Because we're likely going to make a graphic with all the names and say, I'm not, like without our names attached. So it's tough when you're building out this team because you don't want to be one team heavy. Although I expect there might be a unanimous Michigan State team out there by the end of this draft. And that's kind of the sticky situation I find myself in because it would hurt to let this one player walk to an enemy squad, but at the same time, it would feel great to take this player on my squad to watch how they do. And I think at the end of the day, as I look at the way this board is shaking out and could potentially shake out, I think the depth, I think I can get production... Mm, I go back and forth. I'm going to take Miles Bridges. Whoa. (sighs) People might ask if that's a reach. He was unanimous. It's unanimous. Unanimous Big Ten first team. Was there two years. I'm not sure you guys would probably know better. It feels like he could have been snubbed for a potential Big Ten Player of the Year award because he scored 17 points both years, which is great. He had... Averaged 7.6 rebounds per game, so nearly a walking double-double with over 15 points. He even got two assists for you, averaged a block a game. I mean, and then the thing that I was thinking about with the other guys, like, okay, well, I need shooting. He still shot 30, almost 38% from three, so he's not hurting you there. Almost 80% from the free throw line. I'm rounding up on a lot of these stats, but he's a great player. And I wanted to balance my team out. And I think he's very versatile also defensively. I can put him at the four because he's athletic enough. But right now I have him centered as my small forward. We'll see how that shifts as the draft goes on. But right now I have a team of Trey Burke and Miles Bridges. And oh my goodness, the alley-oops between those two. I mean, Trey Burke made GR3 look like an alley-oop star in college. So imagine what Miles Bridges is doing off those lobs. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Lob City in Ann Arbor. I love I'm that. disgusted. <laughs> to Lethal Tickle himself. Um, I'm hesitant to wait for a position, but I, darn, I, I want to take, there's a certain player I want to take, but I don't know if I want to take him at this time. I kind of want to see like how the rest of my team plays out. So you're worried about reaching here. Passive Evan. Um. He's not known to do well no, in fantasy drafts. I'm not worried about reaching because... I mean, if you consider Miles Bridges a reach, then it probably technically could be. I don't think he. Was. I don't think he's a reach. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm this gonna... is like Evan deciding what he wants to order at a restaurant. Has no it's clue. For the him. waitress has came back three times. He's sweating in the booth. <laughs> he ultimately will decide upon. Either barbecue or a cheeseburger. With a tall Bud Light. It still takes him 20 minutes every time. I'm going to go Jaron Jackson. 
Wow. I want I want a solid five man. He was only there one year. Um, but he led Michigan State um in block shots that year. A rim protector, a do it all. He could shoot threes if you had let him. Um and then he's a he can score at will down low. So I'm gonna go with Jaron Jackson. Huh? I will say Tom Izzo would argue that Ben Carter was the better player. <laughs> That's a good one. I think this might be a cl- say. this could be a classic NBA career trap. I don't know. He's I mean that's this to be fair to Evan, this was the one I struggled with the most because I think in my mind he's the most freakishly athletic player possibly in the draft outside of Miles Bridges on my team. But the numbers, I mean, 10 points per game, it's, it was the one and dones were tough in this, and I respect Evan for taking his guy. And I think with Draymond and Jaron as your front court, your big, <laughs> big good, team. Good luck, uh, good luck making shots around the rim against those guys. To me, it would go to Alex now. Ooh. All right. Well, the guy I think I'm going to take averaged 15 points per game, 38% from three. Stud defender will pair beautifully with Cassius Winston in the backcourt. We're going to take uh, Big Ten first team Gary Harris at my shooting guard. Wow. That is a hell of a backcourt. Yeah, Gary Harris and Cassius Winston will be running the floor for me. Watch out. Wow. And Gary Harris, I think, goes well with Cassius because Cash is not really known for his defense, and Gary Harris is clamps. So uh, I like that pairing. Wow. Wow. Color me shocked that Jaron Jackson went and then Gary Harris. I think it's time to unleash him. It is time for Wolverine Wilkins. I'm shocked this guy fell this far. Me too. All it the was way my, back to it. it was who I was between. I am going to go Mo Wagner, the better Wagner, doesn't airball big shots, <laughs> absolutely crossed the brakes off of Nick Ward Thanks. the last time they played. Don't he hurt was Nick. indeed Nick Ward's father. Um, I mean, what more can you say about the guy? He can stretch the floor. He can get you a bucket anytime you need in the post. That's my pick. He was a great shooter. Now you're on the clock again. Back on the clock. Is that correct? Yep. Snake draft is tough. I, I need it. a guard. Like Grant said, guards win it in March. Correct. The reason why I asked if we were counting the 2010-2011 season is I'm going to go back to my alumni, back to my alma mater, and I'm going to go with Kalen Lucas. Great, great value pick. Great value here. Super As a guard. Shot 39% from three, 44% inside the arc, 82% on the line. What more can you ask for out of a college guard? Average 17 career high points, 3.4 assists, 2.1 points per game. Dare I say, Kalen Lucas was a hooper. Yeah. Can hit the big shots when you need him. Pairs well with Denzel. Can get him the ball, get him open looks. When you guys see the clips, yeah. all the listeners, uh, clearly Evan is starting to panic about his uh, team. Threw the headset off, and uh, I think he's disgusted. So watch out. Evan looks rattled. Kalen Lucas was a Big Ten player of the year. Did did Wilkins say he averaged double digits points every single year of college? Stud. To to me. Uh, How does the snake work? Yeah. Uh, yeah, One, then two, then three, then four. So last round, I was between Gary Harris and the guy I'm about to take. So he fell. I'm a little surprised. He's a Big Ten Player of the Year. No. And uh, no, keep no falling. one calls me anything about Wolverine, so I don't have anything cool to say like Wilkins, but I'm going to take Nick Stauskas, the Canadian sniper, no. to be my three-man. No. My shooting is no. just unbelievable. I think, uh, I think maybe in the draft he may have been slept on as a Big Ten Player of the Year, but I was absolutely crossing my toes and fingers that this guy fell back to me. Because if I could slide him into shooting guard, a little selfish that you basically took two shooting guards. Gary and then you Harris play and one. Nick Stauskas, two and the three. I mean, Gary Harris can guard anyone, so it's not going to matter for that team. Damn, I hope he got back to me. That's a great pick. Thanks, man. It means a lot coming from you. Big time player of the year. Yeah, Big Ten Player of the Year. All right, now to the nervous Nelly Evan, who threw off his headset. He's got to be rattled. Seems to be looking for a point guard. I don't have one. <laughs> it's over. 
It's over. Wilkins, I'll trade you Jaron Jackson Jr. for Keelan Lucas. Nope. <laughs> hey, Foster Lure is still on the board, man. Go get your guy. I mean, this looks. This just reminds me of fantasy football drafts. You're panicking and you're letting yourself down again. I am. I'm going to hate my team when it's all said and done. If and Jared Jackson was a second year, I think he holds a little more value in this draft. But the one and done after he would get in foul trouble a lot with those long arms in college. Thanks, Boborowski. But so that's why his points were a little below. But, you know, defensively, Evan, like look at look at what Baylor did last night. You need that. Yeah, there's, still, pretty solid. there's still point guards out there. You could win. Yeah. Yeah. There's some guys. There's some dudes that you can still get. I guess I shouldn't have drafted Jaron because everyone was probably going to pass on him. I don't know. Potentially. If he was there, I, I don't know. Things I don't know who go with the wing. Like, I'm not looking at Michigan's roster. That's the thing. Well, that's where you're closing <laughs> yourself off. I, mean, there's, I am not. I, I'm not looking Michigan myself players off. There. There's better players on Michigan State's team. Always has been. Always will be. blinded. <laughs> Why can't you be like Wolverine Wilkins? I have a Michigan player, too. We yes, all man. do. I'll Terry Harris form. was always better than Nick Stauskas. Yeah, well, I have both, and I think that one-two punch is lethal. One, one Big Ten player of the year. With Cassius running the show. Mo Wagner would have used your squad down low, Alex. I don't care who you get. I don't have a big man yet. Go ahead, draft Nick Ward. Let him baby you. It's a bucket. I don't want to go um, Michigan heavy, but I'm in a tough spot here. Oh. <laughs> Just take best available <laughs> talent. Yeah, hold on. Give me a second. got to pull up Michigan's roster. It's all right. We can cut out whatever gaps there are. But this is quite oh, There's the, going to be big gaps. Just this so is you quite know. the deep I mean, dive. What was your plan coming in? Hey, do you want to make a trade? We'll talk when it gets to your turn. I got two picks in a row. And I'll draft someone for you if you give me Stauskas. We'll talk when we get to your turn. Your team's a little short in that those two to three There's positions. big dudes available that I see that I will take. I have I one Michigan point, point guard in my head right now. So do I. But you can't say that stuff. I only have three. I, po- I only have three him. point guards left that would be worth drafting. On my big board, I have two point guards left, and one in the honorable mention section. Actually, two in the honorable. I, section. I, I don't want to go point guard here. I want to go wing. I need to get a, a solid wing player. I see two from the other school. Shut up! I don't. I, I, I don't like them. All right. All right, take whoever you want. You're I back got- on the clock. We're back to live. <laughs> um. Ooh, bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. I'm going to go. You know what? I don't really care. I I'm. I do care. I don't want to get made fun of. Do it, Evan. <laughs> no. Take the best available. You, there is no. This is the best player available. I'm going to go. Do it. Point guard. Take the <laughs> bird. <laughs> I'm going to go point guard. Shares the same birthday as me from Huber Heights, Ohio. Was a key factor. In the tournament run, down the stretch, big shot after big shot, couple breakaway dunks, Travis Trice. Wow. He needed a point guard and he got his guy. TT. Maybe not his guy, but one of his guys. I think the only redeeming quality you could really hang your head on is that he performed in March as a guard, which is big for teams. So He took a seven seed to the final four. And he beat a two and a three and a four on the way. So don't give me any cupcake runs. Also, Wilkins' number one draft pick helped with that final four run. So cry it to him. And so did some other guys that might get drafted. So Evan so has... He's your PG? He is. Yeah, I guess he has to based on his height. Okay, so okay. I see how this is going along. The disrespect that Steven Izzo is still on the board. I mean... <laughs> That is gross. Uh, is there okay, Alex? I want to talk to you because you have Stauskas, who I love to put at my shooting guard, the Canadian sniper, the Mississauga marksman. <laughs> is there anyone that you really would love out of the two picks I'm about to take that you would just trade straight up for to fill out your um, team? I hate the one I'm see. I'm looking at your sheet because people can't see us. Uh, the one guy that's bigger, I absolutely want nothing to do with, and the other guy. Doesn't make sense because Nick Stauskas is better, so I think I'll pass. I will pick. I'd pick anyone though. That's what I'm saying. Like I will pick anyone for you if you will trade me Stauskas back. Is what I'm saying. I think I'm good. I think I'll let it play out. I trust the the depth of Michigan State and Michigan's rosters over the years that I can find someone to fill. All right. Well, then with my, am I gonna put it? Hmm. Oh, 
I got a guy. All right. So with my third pick, I don't know what overall pick this is, but my third pick of my team, I'm going to take the only other Big Ten first teamer on the board, Tim Hardaway Jr. And he is going to slot in as a lengthy, modern, three-point shooting, do-it-all shooting guard for me. Simply put, I mean, if I have to defend him, he averaged like other people, like, um, who was it? Kalen Lucas, double digits every single year at Michigan. Played three years. I think people forget that, that he was there for three years. 14 points overall. Can grab you four rebounds a game, two assists a game. He's more of a pure scorer. Plays solid defense, like I mentioned. Can shoot respectably from three that you have to close out on him. Made big shots in big games. He had a massive three-pointer against Wisconsin that then they made a buzzer beater back to go to overtime and win. But he made the big shot before that. So I'm taking him. And you pair him with his former teammate, Trey Burke. Correct. They had a great duo that made that championship run. Now, to me, what I'm about to do next is like probably the toughest decision of the draft when you pick back-to-back. Because like my team is basically done after this pick. I just have a fill-in guy. Going in, to me, the big man class was the thinnest overall. It was either like point guard or power forward center were the thinnest. And Draymond went, Jaron went, Mo Wagner, Jaron, or I said Jaron. Miles Bridges went from me. You could play him at power forward if you had to. So that's thin. There's only a few names that I think are acceptable to play on your team from that class. So I have to, as much as I know everyone in this Zoom outside of me is going to puke at, I have to take the only other Big Ten first teamer on the board, Hunter Dickinson, as my center. Cool. That's a good pick. I mean, simply put, the other centers that are left, their senior years were comparable to his freshman year. And he's going to come back for another year. Doesn't and matter because he hasn't played that There, You hope yet. he has that growth. And I, I'm betting on Hunter Dickinson being a can, can be a 20 point per game guy, and I don't think we've seen all of his games, so I'm going Hunter Dickinson. If he can grow and stretch the floor, that's a really good pick. Thank you, Cody. Great West Ham. I Favorite hate. Point. I will say I hate how uh, heavy Michigan my team is because I don't want to come across. I, this is purely how the draft fell to me, and I probably will reach and take for sure a Michigan State player as my last pick if I, if I know myself because I cannot. I can't have just one Michigan State guy on my team. To Wilkins, right? It goes four. I mean, to Evan. To Evan. To Evan. To Evan. Um, I was looking through. I need a wing player. I'm missing one. Um, and I'm going back to the 2010 team. Whoa. Now it was a letdown year, 2010 Michigan State team. Ooh. Um, but the previous two, uh, the previous two tournaments, we we're counting his entire college career he was on the 2010-2011 roster can jump out of the gym made one of the most or most impactful dunks in michigan state history Is it him? yeah um backpacked the team to the 2010 final four when kaylin lucas tore his achilles i'm gonna well, get a kid from detroit michigan a covenant high school 6'4 darrell summers wow well evan will not be drafting a michigan player if he's if he's going that route uh shooting guard or small forward um, yeah, I'm going to go. He's a wing player. I'm not labeling him a shooting guard or small forward because I All might right. shock somebody with my next pick. Holy shit. So I'm up. Yep. It's falling to me. Well, no, it's just your turn. It didn't fall. It's just your turn. That was a little chop at Wilkins' point guard, though. Oh, I'm not saying it's chop. Lucas led us to the final four in 2009. He just tore his Achilles in 2010. Somebody yeah, else had to step up, that. and it was Darrell Summers. That's all I'm saying. Darrell Summers stepped up when Cam Lucas went down. <laughs> but they got we had Max Keebler because that backup point guard role was vital. Wilkins is drafting or Wilkins is gonna hire the best trainer in the land for his team, so no worries about Achilles injuries. <laughs> yeah, no more Achilles. <laughs> Dylan. I guess my question to you guys is it's okay. a group question. Let's hey guys, wow. wait, before you talk let's uh let's all agree to lie with that, whatever he says so he takes the worst possible player. Um, what do you qualify as like a height for the four man these days? Uh, six three. <laughs> so like what, six seven <laughs> and higher? It, look, it, the four it's man all is whatever position you want. Yeah, like, can don't you pander. Position, Draft your team. Really you know what? Yeah, look, I I could have came in here and drafted five point guards. <laughs> could have. <laughs> so here we go. 
<laughs> this guy averaged 14 points, 10 boards, Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. He knows my point guard. They run the best pick and roll in the land. Give me throw off the X, Xavier Tillman, to run down low for me, paired with Cassius. I don't know if he's going to be a four or five yet, but he's, he's going to, you know. Big man. He's running the pick Luka and roll. Garza's father. Yeah, he uh, owns Luka Garza. He owns everyone defensively, and he can score the ball. Great player. Nice. Thanks, man. That's a good pick. Sure, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, I have a lot of offense on this team. You go Denzel, he can spread the ball, makes everybody better. Mo Wagner can run the pick and roll, can stretch the floor. Kalen Lucas can just – he's a hooper. He can just simply hit shots. But what stood out in last night's national championship game is rebounding and defense. Okay. So that's where I'm going to go with my next two picks here. Oh, God. Oh. At the four, I'm going to go – with Brandon Dawson. No! Love, <laughs> love that pick. No. One of the most underrated Michigan State players in Thomas O era. I fell in love with him this first day I saw him. No. Most underrated. It works for Wilkins' team. Six teams in Elite Eight and ultimately a final floor in 2015. This only Guy works for your team. 11, that was nine my points forward. per game, 9.1 rebounds, 1.7 blocks. As a senior, he was second team All Big Ten. I mean, what more can he ask for from the guy? He just hustles. He grinds. It works really well with it. Who's my power? It works I mean, really well with your team because you have a bunch of shooters, and Brandon Dawson cannot shoot, but he's going to be your gritty, get on the floor guy. Is athletic, throws down dunks. Yeah, that's just a phenomenal pick. It's a great pick. Fits your team perfectly. GM Wilkins, and then fifth comes Snake comes back to me. I'm going to round up my squad here. Could be controversial. However, a lot of your guys' teams are drafting a lot of wing players. Who's going to defend the wing? And I'm going to go with Aaron Henry at the two. Wow. I can get behind it. Be I, that wing I defender. Can. Yes, he had a sour ending to his junior year. Might end up going to the draft. Who knows? But what more can you ask for out of a guy that basically willed MSU to March Madness this season, averaged 15 points a game, he can get buckets. He can also sit back, defend the wing, defend inside. Um, but yeah, I like the I like the looks of my team after that. So it goes to and for the record, we will recap everyone's fives and do honorable mentions at the very very end after all the draft picks. So now we are three picks left in this draft, this sweaty contentious draft, and now it's Alex's pick to round out his team. Uh, I might need a second. And it looks like. Based on what I have written down for your team, your point guard's taken care of. You're sh- you have two shooting guards. Two wings, Grant. There are no positions in basketball these days. Gary Harris can play the two or the three. Stauskas can play the two or the three. They can both guard. Hey, why don't you focus on your last pick? So you watch your mouth. Xavier Tillman can play the four or the five. You're in a weird spot where I don't know if you go big or do you go Yeah, I'm in that spot small. right now. I'm either drafting someone that's 6'10", 245, or I'm drafting someone that is 6'7", 200. And putting them at the as a small four sounds like a bad team. Do you have <laughs> uh, Cassius Winston? No, no, about a player that was as good, if not better, than him. No one's better than him. Wrong. You don't think a Trey Burke played four years at Michigan? Michigan, he'd have similar stats. No, uh, Cassius is better than Trey. <laughs> he put play, one played two and one played four. I think there's a difference why Trey left after two years. Xavier Tillman's better than Dickinson. Maybe if Dickinson stays for four years. I think he'll have just as good Tillman stats. Tillman didn't stay for four years. If, if Dickinson stays as many years as Xavier Tillman did, he'll have just as good stats. Well, okay. That's our everything. Tillman right? had a kid, bro. He was a dad. Yeah, two kids. He was dealing with a child at home. Dickinson is not. Put some respect Xavier to Tillman Tillman's. scored 2.8 points in his freshman year. He didn't play. There's a reason for that. Here's Wolverine Wilkins again. I will argue that if Trey Burke did stay four years, I think he has equally similar career as Cassius Winston. Thanks what I Cody. would say about Trey Burke is I think he was more scoring oriented. I think I'm Cassius is a better Trey Burke point guard, can run the offense just, a little I bit like better. I like my guy more than I like your guy, and that's okay. That's This fine. might be biased because that shot he hit against Kansas was just like – I didn't want to what go there. But I, we were talking about just who you're going to draft, and then you're like, "Well, I have Cat. I'm like, well, I have Trey Burke." So, well, you were about. saying, my, you you're saying that Gary Harris and Nick Stauskas can't interchangeably play the two and the three. They're both uh, skinnier guys. What? 
They're lightweight. Gary Harris is the I don't love house. either Gary Harris or Nick Stauskas guarding Denzel Valentine. I'll say that. Facts. No one can guard Denzel Valentine. That's why he won player of the year. Brandon, All of our teams are good. Brandon Dawson could, but he's also on Wilkins team. So that's <laughs> <laughs> David Tillman can guard anybody. Anybody. He can guard the big Luca Garza types. So you know what? Because of that, I don't need another big guy. Tillman can guard anyone down low. Look he can this. guard we the got big it. dudes. You know what? Thanks, guys. We so got you to where you need to get. I'm going to dip in back into the Michigan waters here, I guess. Ew. For some scoring. For what? For some more scoring. For some... You know what? I don't know. I'm stuck. I can't decide. Clearly. Because this has been, what, 10 minutes? I went to Michigan State. Evan's patiently waiting for his last pick. I bet he's doing his research right now. I went to Michigan State. I didn't go to Michigan. So with that, I'm picking a Michigan State player. Well, that's your that's your problem right now. Is like Just pick the best player. There's, there's two. I think that could be. I took game. Miles Bridges over Nick Stauskas because I looked at his two years objectively and they were better. I don't know why he didn't win Big Ten Player of the Year. I can't answer that. I'm not a media voter. Because Caleb Swanigan did. <laughs> he also was going to be a Michigan State player, wasn't he? You love to cherry pick that. Wasn't he? Big pudding. Yes. I mean, Miles Bridges averages 17. So, I yeah, unbiased. Unbiased national reporter. All right, I actually have one important question. Again, another one. Are we basing our teams off of like injuries? Can they get injured? Like, how does that work? It's certainly going to factor in the voters' Basing minds. off of their college career. It's certainly going to be a factor in people's minds when they vote. Like, oh, maybe that guy didn't play a lot. He did. I feel like Kalen Lucas was injured, but it was his last year. So it's like. And Wilkins hired the best yeah. trainer in the land. Yeah. All right. I'll go with a guy that averaged 16 and 6, or actually, sorry, 16 and 7. And he won a college dunk contest. He can shoot threes. He's six foot ten. I'm taking Adrian Payne to round out my five, and I'll play Tillman at the four. Interesting. He's a freak athlete, and he can shoot. And he's six foot ten. Interesting. Good luck scoring down low with him and Tillman. Can't wait to run on you guys in transition. Tillman runs the floor better than most big men in the country. I'm just messing with you. Um, Evans pick, but they were awfully quiet, so they might question that as well. No, I don't mind. I, I was considering uh, Adrian Payne. I was considering Adrian Payne over Jaron Jackson. I think Adrian Payne points. was the best. He was the best big man available there. So that's that's how I saw it as well. Adrian Payne scored forty points in the March Madness game. He like, did. He wasn't bad. And he shoots well from and, the free throw line, and he can shoot threes. Um, I don't want to be biased. I don't want to pick all Michigan State players. I said I was going to because I don't appreciate or enjoy Michigan State. Or enjoy Michigan. Um, but I will, my last pick, I will pick a Michigan player for the love of the podcast. Um, I didn't know who to pick. I kind of need a wing player. I kind of like bigger, more athletic players going through the rosters. There's I'm more like, guys I really be. like anybody. I, it's the guy I, I mean, there's some obvious him. ones. But I came across the name, and I was like, oh, my gosh. And a gem. He... Um, he was Big Ten uh, Freshman of the Year, AP, Honorable Mention, All-American, Second Team, All-Big Ten, and... It's four people. When they said, I don't like him, that was an understatement. I did not like this kid. Yeah. I didn't. But <laughs> then you're looking at it, and you're like, I wouldn't mind if he was on my team. I just hate him because he was on the other team. They might be. I really don't like him. He was a one and done. Yeah. But he did is. average... He averaged 14.8 points per game, a bucket. five rebounds, played in 37 games. I am going to go with Iggy Brezdakis. Ignis. Wow. Ignasty. The only one and done in the John Beeline era. Evan, two one and dones on your team. You're a little young. No senior leadership there. Well, but I got Draymond Green. He is the definition of senior actually, leadership. Actually, you have Draymond and Travis Price you on the court. Um, I seniors. don't care, and good luck trash talking because I have Iggy and Draymond. I think wow. I might have the. They might the fight in the locker room. Monitor. They might fight in the locker room. That's okay. Brings out character. Wow, Goodness. that's a great pick. Because to the me, value pick to me, there was I wrote down four guys that you could have that you could have picked there, and I think you chose a nice one. All right. Oh, this is a tough. This is tough. 
So the, this is the classic in every draft of Mr. Irrelevant. This is the last pick in the draft. Alex is staring down my stat sheet right it's now. I hate be. it. So I'm going to go ahead and X out all the point guards, and we're going to walk this through not solely, but I'm going to give you my thought process. I have a point guard. I don't need one. There is one big man that is worthy of being drafted, and he doesn't fit on my team, so he's out. Sorry, Nick Ward. I can spoil names because I'm last. <laughs> Absolute bucket. What a snub. We'll get him doing the honorable mentions. There's a lot of wings. I have a lot of wings. I don't know if I need if I need more wings, more big guys. What I think I need on this team is going to drastically change the positions of each of my players. So before I make the actual pick, let me just make sure I know 100% what these guys' heights are. So Tim Hardaway is 6'6". Six, six. That's, that's tall enough to play small forward. Miles Bridges is 6'9", 6'8", 6'7". He's 6'7", and he's a freak. He's an athletic freak, so he can play the four. Miles Bridges can play the four for me. There's no doubt in my mind that I can get him to play the four with a 7'1", Dickinson backing him so up. So you're putting Tim at the three? I'm putting Tim at the three, a 6'6", six, six player. So you're drafting a two right now. And I'm going to take a sniper, Bryn Forbes, wow. as my knockdown shooter. He Great is value. a second team Big 10 player. That's how good of a shooter this guy was because he didn't do a crazy amount else. He wasn't dishing out assists left and right. He's not skying for boards. He is a higher than 40% three-point sniper. And I am just at – because Tim and Miles, they can shoot threes, but they're not whaps. What was Bryn's uh, three-point percentage? For his career? Yeah. Actually, just give me his best season. I think my I have a guy that's better than him that is my center, Adrian Payne, shot forty two percent from three. But how many attempts though? That's the that, that volume, Alex. Yeah, one hundred and four. One hundred and four. Thank you, Evan. Thank you. Forty four for one hundred and four from three. Wow. Bryn Forbes owns the Big Ten record for consecutive <laughs> eleven threes in a game against this Rutgers. man. This man, his last what year tournament was it that he hit like seven threes. Yeah, Bryn Forbes, his last He's year, a star. his last year at Michigan State. Averaged 6.7 three-point attempts per game and shot 48% from deep. So that's a guaranteed nine points I'm getting from my shooting guard. Again. Sniper. Sniper. And when you're spreading Fan it out favorite. with Timmy and uh, Miles Bridges, poof. From Lansing. So Lansing Sexton. Everyone shifts down a spot. Tim and Miles shift down and Bryn, a 6'3 shooting guard. I, I don't hate that. He's decently tall. Slides in there. That's Mr. Irrelevant. Wow. So now what? You want to go in a circle and give our biggest snubs? Well, quickly, I'm going to read out everyone's team. Wilkins picked from the one slot. His point guard I have is Kalen Lucas. He put shooting guard as Aaron Henry, small forward Denzel Valentine, and then he rounds it out with Brandon Dawson and Mo Wagner. Alex picked from the two slot. Point guard Cassius Winston. He has Gary Harris and Nick Stauskas as his wings. And then he finished off with Xavier Tillman and Adrian Payne. The three slot was Evan. He went Travis Trice as his PG. His wings were Darrell Summers, Ignis Brasdegas, and then his big men were Draymond Green and Jaron Jackson. And then I was the four slot in this draft. I have Trey Burke, Bryn Forbes, Tim Hardaway Jr., Miles Bridges, and Hunter Dickinson as my five. After hearing them out loud, do your guys' thoughts change at all, or what did you take away from the draft? Yeah, my thoughts changed. Evan's team sounds much better when you read it out loud to me with uh, Jaron and Draymond down low and capable scores in, as his guards. I mean, better than I was expecting after the meltdown he had in the middle of the draft. And then your team sounds worse to me when I hear it out loud. Really? Yeah, I think it's just because of the recency bias with Dickinson. I just I don't buy that. He's the best. Some could argue he's the best big man in this draft. Good. As a center. No, I agree. And I'm sure all the Michigan fans will love your team because of Trey Burke and Dickinson. But, you know, if that's how the vote goes, that's how it goes. I love my team. My team is so good. <laughs> I love that. Um, guys, I do love Logan's team. Logan's team is nice. I'm, I'm in love with it. I love Denzel and I love Kalen Lucas. I thought I was going to be able to get one of them. I could have. But I went with Draymond because I panicked because you took Denzel first. Yeah. I think – uh. Wilkins team's biggest calling card is he has a national player of the year candidate and a Big Ten player of the year candidate. And it's the only team that has that. 
I would argue that Miles Bridges probably should have been Big Ten Player of the Year once because his stats were as good as Nick Stauskas is. I could argue Cassius Winston should have been the National Player of the Year. Correct. Nick Stauskas is a Big Ten Player. The, the only thing about if I, I don't know, this it's tough to nitpick because I guess it just says credit to Michigan, Michigan State basketball for having great teams the last decade and having great players. The one player that I think most should have been drafted was either Derek Walton or Keith Atley. I think. One of those guys, if Evan could have looked past the Michigan bias earlier, Derek Walton would have been a great addition to the team. I'm not saying Travis Trice is bad, but I think Derek Walton's overall body of work in college was better, I would say, than Travis Trice's. Yeah. But the Travis Trice team didn't I, make the Final Four. Derek Walton's team did not, but also Travis Trice had more talent around him. My biggest snub. I was going to say Paris LeVert was yeah. a bit of a snub. That was my biggest As a wing. Snub. Yeah, average sixteen point five rebounds, five assists. Um, what more? Sixteen five rebounds. a wing player. He was a he was an all around great player. I think I think Alex was about to draft him, and I then he did. he asked the injury question because the back two years of his career he didn't play much more than fifteen games, thirty games total his last two seasons. That's tough. So and that's kind of what pushed me away from him. That's tough. Yeah, a bucket getter and a good NBA career, but you can't we we don't base it off of that so. Couldn't pull it. Duncan Robinson, think, snub. Yeah, no. I was going to say Duncan Robinson was But a snub. the craziest thing was Duncan Mich- only averaged nine points that year. Got to be. It's cool. tough to take that. A great three-point percentage. Yeah, but I'm that's why I took... I'm ran over him. No, look at his stats. I believe you. I just thought... I'm unbiased. I guess Duncan's NBA career makes him, you know... Exactly. Again. It's hard to think about the M- to separate the NBA career from their college careers. And if a guy played... Because the hardest thing is like... Some could argue Evans' team could have the most upside with Ignis and Jaron, and then it's tough to value it when they're one and done. It's like it's just hard to where you where people fall in because if those guys stay more years, they're probably the top in the top picks of the draft. What about Franz and Livers, current players? Yeah, those are tough. Franz, I would take before Livers because Franz was just a double digit guy both years at Michigan and plays better defense. Uh, but he, I thought about him if I wanted to go all wings, but I wanted shooting. He would have been Mr. Irrelevant. I would have taken him last. Or Karras. Nick Ward. Mitch McGarry. Mitch McGarry, no. Two, two, other, two other centers that got a little bit of a snub, I'd say, were uh, John Teske, uh, big Teske. seven-footer in the middle of the paint, as well as Matt Costello. Always played well in those rivalry games. Good glue guy. Could get boards. Fan, fan. And then also Zach Irvin. I know he's kind of inconsistent, mm. but he was, he was also a getter on the wing. I'm shocked that Evan didn't take Kenny Goins. I really am. What? He loves him. I didn't have I didn't have a spot for him on my roster. Um, there is always a spot for him on the bench. But in starting five, I don't have a spot for him. He had probably the biggest shot in Michigan State history. What about Jeff Jackson? I mean Xavier Simpson. If if oh, look, yeah. if we had more if we had more people in this draft, I would say for sure Xavier Simpson would have got picked. But the, the that's why I think like point guard was so important to get out of the way early. Sometimes because you, you kind of need a premier one. There's not a ton. The top tier point guards are by but far. And away when someone is team. like the leading winner in in a school's program history, as Xavier Simpson was, I think valid. And then he his senior year, I'm looking up, he did average 13 points per game. So he did turn and eight assists and five rebounds. So that senior year was pretty awesome for him. And he did get his three point shooting up to 36. percent so I would say, yeah, that's probably a snob. He's probably in Derek Walton tier. But when there's only four of us, what about GR3? That little hook shot he would do in the paint made me want to throw up in my mouth. The yeah, shot he could do because he couldn't shoot. He shot him well, at 36%. Yeah, bad shooter. He was a bad shooter. That's not that bad. Bad shooter. After the Jeff Jackson incident, he, he was pretty good shooting. You want to go into detail on that incident or no? No, I think it was covered pretty well. This is the this is the biggest question I have for like the polls because again we're noob, noobs to this. This is our first one ever, so I'm thinking it's going to go out as an Instagram probably story poll and then a Twitter post poll, and we'll do like a, I'll make a graphic of the teams without our individual names attached. So if people out there don't like you know me or don't like Cody or don't like Alex going Evan, they won't know whose team is whose unless they actually listen. And let's be honest, like the both people voting probably won't have listened to the full explanations, which will hurt us because like we made some good cases. I'm very curious to see how the older, closer to 2010 players fare in like the draft. Because I, I'd imagine a lot of our followers aren't aren't that that older and saw them play. Like even for me, it's tough like to 
to wrestle with drafting like Kalen Lucas or Jarrell Summers. Like I know they were awesome, but then again, like I was still pretty young. It wasn't like tuned into Michigan State basketball and seeing all their highlights. So I think that'll be interesting to see if people value the older players in the draft. Or if people value NBA careers because they don't know the criteria. They may be like, oh, Jaron Jackson is awesome at Memphis. Help Evan. I love him. I'm going to take him. And the Evans team gets a little bump. But most importantly, Cody, are you going to be our permanent fourth team for snake drafts? Or are you going to be that permanent guy on the podcast? I think it's being discussed. It's definitely out there. People are starting to talk about it. Um, if I'm being asked, um, sure, yeah, I'll do it. Why not? <laughs> Twist my arm, why not? Yeah. Um, <laughs> The, the, the jury is still out if I will listen to a podcast. I might listen to this one because I have a huge ego um, and I want to hear how great my team is. Um, but we will see if I will listen to a non-Cody Wilkins episode. Will you retweet this? Put it on your story? Like pump our tires? Or pump your own, I guess? I'd say it's not a good look if you need my brand to pump your tires. But yes, <laughs> as your friend, I will pump your tires. Um you should be confident enough in your own podcasting game to say, hey, we are the best Michigan podcast out there, and this is why. So come correct. But you will get an Instagram story shout out. Sure, see, why see, not? This is why we're bringing Charity. you on, your top talent. So we're going to have to write a contract for you to be in the snake draft guy. It's being discussed if I will eventually earn a Stephen A. Smith um, <laughs> esque contract from the ESPN or from Shot of Michigan Sports Podcasting. But We'll see. <laughs> I love that. All right. Anyone else have any closing thoughts they want to leave the voters with? Closing thoughts. Everyone has to pick a coach. Let me ask you I'll this. pick Tom Izzo. No, no coach. Let me yeah. ask you this. You guys might have covered this in the in the podcast segment. Who wins the Masters this week? Well, mm. we discussed it in our show already. So you're going to have to listen, Wilkins. <laughs> you're going to have to actually listen to our podcast. There's timestamps. That yeah, hurts. You know what? I don't even know. Jordan Speed. I ride, I ride with Justin Thomas. Oh. <laughs> He's back. Give us a dark horse. I think being out there for all those gambling at home, I'm going to go with Victor Hovland. Oh, my God. You said exactly what happened. Dude, we have to clip that as a separate thing. I swear to God, we both picked that, Evan and I. You did. <laughs> <laughs> and... Yeah, I mean, I just hope Bryson DeChambeau <laughs> doesn't make the shot. I mean, did anybody see the clip of him hitting balls today in practice? Yeah, you did send He hit us, more so balls yes. in an hour, or in probably five minutes, than Fred Couples hit in an entire hour on the rain. <laughs> um, it was the most exhausting thing I've ever seen. Yeah, he's a freak. Are you ready for the shot at Michigan sports golf outing 2v2 match? Um, yeah, I assume I'm paired with Evan. No, random teams. One through four. Oh, no, it's me and Brandon. (laughs) (laughs) See you guys. All right, it won't be you two. I will be hitting the range this weekend to ultimately prepare. Um, there's talks. Maybe, maybe I'll acquire Scotty Cameron. I don't know. We'll see how, we'll see how hard I'm going. Maybe a sim too. I don't know. Big money. I'll still shake my drives into the woods. Probably 160. At least I look good. Right. That's right. You want to promote anything before you go? You got anything you in the works that you want to talk about and let the people know? Pump your own tires for something? You want to sell payroll? There is talks. Uh, I am the payroll king of Michigan. People are starting to discuss. Yeah, that probably sounds like I have a big ego, but, you know, so what? That's why I'm in the sales business. <laughs> That's right. Um, what else can I talk about? There's, there is discussion of a podcast in the works. I'm not going to let you guys in on it, but I do give away my money-making ticks for free right now. Wow. It is being discussed that it will be coming to you in podcast form very shortly. These three are the only people that get um, locked in on my picks. But, yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. It's great to be a big J now. It feels good to be a podcaster. Um, is that a beater from Evan? Yeah, we, we cheers, man. you got to have to cheers. Wow. It's wine, wine. Yeah. courtesy of the live audience. This is a bottled water. Um, insert your name here if you would like to sponsor Shot of Michigan. <laughs> There's a plug for you guys. Yes. <laughs> we're going um, to cheers this out. out. Yeah, we're going to cheers it out. Follow our socials. Follow Wilkins, Cody Wilkins, Cody underscore CW. Is that right? 
Yep. Broken. Is that a white claw and a truly lemonade? Yeah, mixed. You are living dangerously. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And to that, not hurt me. may the best, may the cheers to the, the snake draft, may the best starting five win. Cheers to that. Cheers. That's a shot of Michigan sports right there. <laughs>